All right, Adam, thank you. Well, there are new challenges to keeping pedestrians safe popping up all over the valley with cities working to create new rules about how to deal with electric scooters. You see them just about everywhere across the valley. So what are the rules when it comes to riding those things? Team 12's Michael Dowden is here to verify the do's and don'ts before you take a joy ride. These electric scooters are available to really anyone with a phone and an app, but beyond that, it's actually up to each city on how to deal with these scooters. Find a scooter, take a picture, and a couple swipes, and you're off. They're nice and they're convenient. For Austin Dahl, they are a nice way to take a ride from his apartment to downtown Tempe, but he also has seen their dangers. Almost hit people on scooters while driving because they're buzzing through red lights and so like I'm you know I'm coming up to a green light and I'm all good and then somebody will buzz by me. Arizona firefighter Dan DeWitt has experienced the danger himself as his wife and child were involved in a scooter crash on a San Diego boardwalk fracturing his wife's skull and seriously injuring his daughter. It's absolutely uh, in my opinion negligent. Yet whether it's bird, lime or razor there are plenty of scooter options in Scottsdale and Tempe. Scottsdale says it's done the math, seeing only 12 crashes and more than 1,000 rides taken. That's uh, less than 0.01%. Uh, Even still, the city recently passed an ordinance detailing where those scooters can be placed to even what riders are allowed to do. It's possible to get a speeding ticket on uh, on the devices. Another thing is, is that they need to be operated safely. So uh, there's also reckless ridings. Yet cities like Tempe are still trying to figure it all out. They offer no firm numbers on the amount of crashes and currently have no rules specifically dealing with the scooters. So we can verify there are a lot of rules and safety regulations, but it all depends on where you may be. Tempe will also have a vote in January on some agreements with the companies, and they're also putting together a group to try to figure out how to create rules for those riding the scooters. We're live in the Alert Center. Michael Dowden.